Hello, my name is Nick Radloff here from Hennessy Land Rover, and today we're going to be taking a look at what makes the Land Rover Defender such an iconic vehicle the world over. The original inspiration for the Land Rover, all the Land Rover lineup, was the Willys Jeep that was used by American GIs during World War II. Continuing with that rugged simplicity, the Land Rover Defender is one of those go anywhere, do anything vehicles that are meant to get you there and get you home. The Defender as we know it was launched in 1983, but it didn't wear the Defender name badge until 1990. So it was originally launched in 1983 as the 110, which was the 110 wheelbase. And then they added a smaller one, the 90, the next year. And they have continued that tradition with the new vehicles, naming them the 90, the 110, and then the 130, which is the one with the larger third row, the true seven seater, so to say, as far as our lineup goes. In the United States, they stopped selling the Defender in 1997, but overseas, they continued to build and sell the vehicle until about 2016. That means that we have not had the Defender since 1997. So, thankfully, they brought it back to our shores in 2020, and now in 2023, we have the best version of it that we've ever had. Let's take a look. An important feature of any off-road vehicle and something that's been built into the DNA of Land Rover since the beginning is the short approach angle in the front. By having less bumper in the front and an angled bumper that's coming up, that means that when you're going down a hill, the tires are going to hit the ground before your front bumper does, meaning you're not gonna take damage to the vehicle and you can go more places. In continuing with that ruggedness and that capability, the air intakes on the vehicles are higher up than other vehicles. The other vehicles put them down lower because that's where cold air rushes in. But on an off-road vehicle, you don't want your intake down the bottom, you'll suck water into the engine. So by having it up here and then feeding into the hood, it actually keeps water from getting down into your engine, keeps it clear. So if you're driving through a stream or a big puddle or anything like that, you don't have any worries about hydrolocking your engine. The suspension on a vehicle is incredibly important, whether it's a fast race car, a comfortable cruising barge, or an off-road vehicle. This off-road vehicle is equipped with an air suspension. You can air out the suspension and it is low, so that way you can load things into the vehicle or use the tow hitch more easily on the back to connect it to your trailer. Then you have normal height, which is about two or three inches higher than your access height, and that is for regular on-road driving. Then you have your off-road height, which is another two to three inches over that, which increases the ground clearance on the vehicle. So when you're driving off-road or you're going through a puddle or whatever, you don't hit anything underneath the car, get any water into the vehicle or in the engine bay, and you have all the clearance you need for your adventures. Nothing says off-road like having your spare on the back and having a door that opens all the way up to allow easy access to the inside, but also that little piston down there, that little shock actually keeps the door where you put it. So if you're parked on an incline, you don't have to worry about it falling on you. Now on the inside, you have a rubberized bottom area here for things to not slide around and built into the cargo cover, you have this pad. So if you're loading things in and out of the vehicle, you're not gonna scratch up your bumpers. You have AC power back here for plugging in things like air compressors or camping lights or whatever when you're off-road. And then over here on this side, you actually have controls for the air suspension. So if you are going to be raising or lowering the vehicle off-road, you'd be able to do it from there to either make it easier to put things into the trunk or to make it easier to connect to a trailer. Part of the fun of having an off-road vehicle, especially one like a Defender, are the accessories that come with it. So for the Defender, there are a ton of accessories, both from the factory and the aftermarket has actually embraced them as well. The roof rack that you see here is a factory roof rack supplied by Land Rover, whereas this handy little rail here, this little ladder is an aftermarket accessory. So between what we sell here at the dealership and from specific off-road manufacturers, 
outfitters, et cetera, you can get anything that you need to kit out and make your Defender yours. And as we discussed earlier with the air suspension, you can have your cake and eat it too when it comes to comfort and ruggedness. As you can see from the inside, this thing is equipped with leather, leather, more leather, beautiful wood, and all of the things that you touch and feel and look at in the vehicle are made of incredibly high quality materials from leather to wood to metal. But you also have little touches that are sort of harkening back to the origin of the vehicle. For instance, here, this is actually the paint from the door that, of, that is exposed. And this exposed paint here is just like the original, the one that they built in the 80s and 90s. Just kind of a, a throwback or a love letter to the original. I have discussed only a few of the features that makes the Land Rover Defender such an iconic off-road brand. There are even more of them available on the vehicle that are either optional or standard. And if you want to see those options or you have additional questions about the vehicle, please contact Hennessy Land Rover. We are your local Land Rover dealer. There's three here in Atlanta and we would love to help you pick the perfect Defender for you.